it's practical. I mean, I had to paint because the way we shoot in this film, there's a lot of painting. And while I'm having conversations, and then also there's scenes where you see quite literally in painting. So the way we're filming this, we're not shooting conventional um, coverage, and we're, you can't imagine cutaways. Plus, learning to paint is going to be the key to understanding what he writes about in his letters, who he might have been, and introduces me into the, uh, you know, it's the only way to inhabit the character, because Vincent van Gogh said, I am my paintings. And I relate to that somehow. So I, I certainly had to know his paintings and I had to uh, have the physical act of painting in my body. So Julian taught me. We'd go out, he, uh, just what you think. He, he was crazy about how I held a brush, how I held six <laughs> brushes in my hand, this sort of thing. He taught me that. He taught me how to organize my materials. He taught me something about colors, certainly. But the, uh, to really shorthand this, the most important thing was he taught me to make marks. Mm -hmm. And marks talk to each other. But each mark you make is specific, is autonomous. But then they, next to each other, they start to move. <laughs> Van Gogh said, don't paint uh, what's there, paint what you see. <laughs> the idea, if you want to get to the heart of what something is. You don't want to get the, the signifier or the thing that identifies it. So I'm, I'm painting a cypress tree. I rush to paint a good likeness of the cypress tree. And I draw well enough, but, I'm, and I, but painting is a drawing. And I rush to do it, and he says, wait, 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 wait. And he says, now look, you see those dark I want you here, right here. You see those dark spots? Paint all those dark spots. Now you see that light spot? Paint that light. And then next to the light spot, there's the white. It's white. Now he doesn't have white on his face, but the light is playing on his face in a certain way. So you start that, and these colors start to dance, and they introduce this swirl to you. Well, swirl is a good word for Vincent Van Gogh, right? <laughs> Going back to this idea of marks, acting is a series of actions for me. I've always approached it as a physical act, like a dancer. And even in a scene, it's one step at a time, and each step compounds it and sends you to a place. And, and if, if the quality of doing those actions is strong and sincere and deeply felt, they will tell you where to go. That, so it's your doing as opposed to showing. Um, you know, the, uh, if you're not a performer, sometimes you think you make these choices. Oh, I'm going to do this, or I'm going to do that. No, it's really about sitting with someone, and sitting with something, and going forward, and committing yourself to these actions. And if you do it in a pure way, they act on you. And then you react, and then you get further down the road, and then all of a sudden you're on a journey, and all of a sudden it's a journey that's part you and it's part the circumstance, and all of a sudden things are happening, and it, it becomes organic that way, and it's not controlled solely by what you know. It it's also brings into play things that you can't even conceive, and that's, that's when performing is set up properly and you feel free, that's the beauty of it. And with something experiential like this, hopefully the audience can be with you, be with you. And the way it's shot, particularly, Julian shoots it very, Julian and, and the brilliant uh, DP, Benoit Delon, uh, shoots it in such a way that you feel next to him, you feel a part of him, I think. Um, Little talk, lots of action. You know, uh, I think very little talk. And with the camera, it is very close to you, and it comes so close. You know, we were like dancing partners. I, I forgot about the camera. Sometimes in movies, it's nice to know where the camera is, and it gives you strength, and you actually sort of perform for the camera. That's your, that's your audience. That's one kind of movie, but some movies you want to forget about it and it just comes with you. And it, this was more the experience. Uh, the things that we talked about were mostly 
dealing with how to prepare to do these things. For example, I shoot, I, I paint those shoes in real time. I practice those. <laughs> I'm scared to death. You know, what if it's horrible? And in a funny way, it does look horrible. For a long time, to my mind. But then, you see a beautiful thing, I think. And we can argue about this. <laughs> but you see those marks, and then you see these blobs of color, and you think, what the hell? You know, the colors aren't right. They don't correspond to what he's seeing. And then you see shoes. And they don't look like the shoes that are right there, but they feel like them. You know, they really bring you into the presentness of that thing that he's looking at. And they're alive. It was, it was always fun to see. We, because uh, Van Gogh didn't sell, sell paintings, while he didn't sell many paintings uh, during his lifetime. He was living with his paintings, so for set dressing, we had to copy a lot of paintings. So we had a whole studio of painters painting copies. And when we dressed the, 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 the room sometimes, um, Julian would get there and he said, Dad, that's terrible. And to my mind, it looked pretty good. <laughs> I mean, it wasn't necessarily something I did. And he'd say, but I thought it was good likeness of a, a, a painting that I knew. And he said, get out my paints. And he'd fix it. <laughs> and it was interesting to see how he would bring life into the thing. That was a real testament to what kind of he is. That's a really hard question to answer. <laughs> sure. You know, when you, when you look back on how you arrived at sometimes, I, I think sometimes you lie to yourself a lot. You don't remember. Right. Um, you said nice things. I don't know. Yeah. I really don't. I mean, for me as an actor, I, I love performing. I love losing myself in an action. I love learning things and applying the things that I learn to the pretending, and it is pretending, and I don't think that's a light word, it's a beautiful word. I love to pretend, not to lose myself, although that's kind of what happens, but to wake up and to open up my heart and mind, and, and when you do that, you don't, it's like you don't worry about anything, you know, when you, um, when you have a, when you aren't tight, when you don't need anything, but you're actually in, engaged in a way that you feel like you're living. And he talks about that a little bit. I mean, but every, but sometimes people talk about, wow, well, how'd you deal with mental illness? I didn't think about the mental illness. <laughs> but I recognize that he was scared to death by these states of ecstasy. Sometimes in nature, he was so overwhelmed, he didn't know what he was going to do with it. He passed out, he said. Yeah. And also, how does he reconcile that with the fact that he has social problems. He, he has no sentimental life. He has trouble dealing with women. Um, you know, uh, he drinks uh, absent. You know, that's all in the mix. I smell the script. <laughs> no, actually, I don't smell the script. Um, you know, the filmmaker's very important. I really am attracted to, not exclusively, but I really, if a strong filmmaker is attached and they want me to do something and it makes sense to me and I feel like it can be useful or I can contribute in an interesting way, I'm there. Filmmaker is very important. The, the company, the people that you make the film with is probably the most important thing to me, the circumstances. I also knew we were going to shoot on location in this case. I liked the script. The script, I wasn't even complete. Often, scripts aren't complete before you sign on. So it really is the people. I've known jo Julian for 30 years. A uh, film about a painter, that particular painter, Vincent Van Gogh, no slouch, written, you know, uh, directed by a painter. That was easy. So beyond that, like how I choose, it's people, and to some degree script. The character, you never know what it is until you get there. Um, it's always a combination of things. 
I love to shoot on location because you're able to go someplace and kind of leave your life behind and create a new little life that you know feeds the the fiction of what you're doing. You have a life experience and it feeds your your work. So those are things that happen. I mean, I there's certain things that I try to avoid, and then occasionally you want to exercise different muscles, not to show that you can do different things. But you, it's like food, you know? I don't want to eat oatmeal every day. <laughs> <laughs> Although my father did, and he lived to 97. So. <laughs> it's a beautiful film. Absolutely. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you. Happy holidays.